Hey, what's up guys? This is Flo, uh, CEO, founder of Tal Deco. In this video, I'm gonna be covering objections. Now in our industry in staffing and recruiting, there's really only five objections. And now an objection is something that either slows down or halts your sales process. In sales, you're gonna get pounded with, with objections. Now it's your duty to be prepared and to be able to handle those objections. I'm gonna go through all five of those on how we at Tal Deco handle all those objections and take you further into the sales process, leading you to the sale. One of the most common objections is this one right here. It's, it's, uh, it comes in multiple fashions. It's that I'm good, not a good time, I'm busy. This is, you're gonna get this multiple times a day because you are interrupting what people are doing. So if I have someone on the phone and say, man, this, I'm good, not a good time, I'm busy, this is how you're gonna handle it. You're gonna say, hey sir, I totally understand. I know I interrupted you on the phone, but this conversation will be both quick and efficient, and if it starts taking too long, we can then reconnect later. Does that sound fair enough? All right, this is one of my favorite objections right here. It's the, no, I'm happy, I just accepted a job. Now the reason why this is a good objection is because in staffing and recruiting, the best employees are the ones working. So we're trying to target these ones. And so if someone, you get them on the phone and, and you make your first pitch and they give you the, man, I'm happy, or I just accept a new job. Now the way I'm gonna handle this is like this. Congratulations, sir. Now my goal in this conversation is not to steal you or take you away from your current job or the one that you just accepted, but to provide you another option and more information on the one that just crossed my desk. It's really advantageous to you. Now, as we're going through this conversation, if something's not aligning or you're just saying this is still not a good fit, just let me know. We can hang up and wrap up and I won't even call you again after that. Does that sound fair enough? Okay, the deadly, are you an agency or a temp service? Now, what they're doing is they're bucketing you into a type of service and program that really has a bad rep. So this is quite easy to handle. And the way we handle it is we start to distance ourselves into deep brand from the staffing brand. And we're going to say, no, sir. So we're actually a manufacturing consultant. And what that means is we work with manufacturers in projects, HR consulting, and staffing their teams. Now, are you looking for a temp service? Because if so, I can refer you to one. Now this is pretty brutal because what we do is we bucket temp services in a whole another brand and we separate ourselves in a whole another bucket. And this is how we can separate ourselves from that staffing brand and put ourselves in a more elite class. Now another really common objection is very standard. It's that, hey, I am just not interested. And this objection is quite simple. I handle it with any other sales process and you're gonna run it through like this. Hey, sir, I totally understand. I figured you weren't interested in the first place. I mean, how could you be? Uh, you don't even know anything that we do. So all I wanna do is provide you with some information, provide you a service, and if it still isn't something that you're interested in, just let me know, and then we can end the phone call there. Does that sound fair enough? So uh, an objection that we get all the time is, hey, I'm not interested in working a contract to hire position. Now you need to understand the frame in which the person's probably coming from probably thinking temp, they're probably thinking temporary. And so we need to readdress that and change their frame. This is so important because about 95% of, of our business and a lot of different other companies' businesses are a contract to hire model. So this is how I'm gonna handle it. Hey sir, I totally understand and you're probably wanna make sure that this is gonna be a full-time job, is that correct? Well, perfect. Well, one thing I do wanna let you know is that Michigan is actually a right to work state. What that means is any person, if they're not a good fit, a company can just terminate them regardless. So if you're full-time or if you're contract to hire, if you're not a good fit for that role, you won't make it out there. So a contract to hire is as stable as a full-time opportunity and all of our clients are going to transition to permanent. Now, the second and most important perk I wanna let you know is that at the six month transition mark, most of our people actually renegotiate their pay rate to a higher level. So it's almost advantageous to do a contract to hire model. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you really enjoyed this uh, and have any other questions or about any of our process and recruitment or staffing, just uh, reach me, comment, and then I'll get back to you. Thanks.